great day today, I thought. Uh, guys came out and compete. I think camp has been, uh, you know, really, uh, a, it's been great seeing these guys compete, run around a little bit, and uh, be out there, you know, in front of these fans. It's been a, a lot of fun so far, but excited for tomorrow on the scrimmage and then leading up to the Rams when we play them uh, next week. So uh, with that, I'll go ahead and uh, open up the questions. We've seen a lot of Cam kicking out there this week. Any update on Dustin's situation? Yeah, with Dustin, I'm, um, he's been you know, doing a lot of kicking on the side and everything, but I'm going to go ahead and defer to Coach you know, respectfully on that, and you know, I think he'll be talking tomorrow about that. But uh, um, you know, Dustin's been doing well on the side right now. So, What have you, uh, what have you seen out of Cam so far? Obviously gotten more work than maybe expected coming in so far. Uh, Cam's picked up right where he left off right now. I mean, he's very consistent, um, you know, very smooth in his operation. and. Uh, you know, that's where we're, you know, love where he's heading, the trajectory where he's going with uh, his kickoffs and his uh, field goals. So just the way he handles it, he's a professional. So we've been uh, very pleased right now where he's at. How's Darius doing? Darius doing good. I mean, he still has those, those rookie moments in terms of just, just building, but not in a bad way. He's learning everything. He wants to learn. He's a sponge on everything, all the situations. He comes up, asks great questions, um, not just about how to catch or, you know, what to do. He's learning about you know, how, you know, every situation out there, how do I handle these? And uh, so it's been great, you know, working with him and uh, the whole group, though, um, you know, with Hightower and, and also uh, uh, Pokey Wilson. So he's been doing a good job, too. Is there, Darius, is there something you need to see that really just gives you confidence that when he goes out there for his first game, you don't need to worry about, you know, anything catastrophic happening yeah, from a rookie? No, I mean, that's why we, we, we try and do our best to, you know, talk about all these situations. Unfortunately, you can't practice or get those in the games on all of them. But... Uh, just mainly if he's got that grasp of knowledge of it, and then you go out and see him execute it in practice, and then in, in the games, just see how comfortable he is when he's catching, he's got the mechanics, and he takes control of the situations. Uh, that's what we're kind of looking for. And, and he's got God-given ability that um, you know, the Lord's blessed him with, and he can just go ahead and let it you know, take over from there when he gets that ball in his hand. What have you seen out of, uh, oh, go ahead for a minute. Uh, John Hightower was here, he got here uh, early last yeah. year. Uh, just what have you seen from him progressing, and how do you feel like he's uh, he's kind of grasped special teams so far? I think he understands our expectations with special teams right now, what we're expecting out of, out of him. He knows his role, you know. Um, you know, speaking for us on special teams, he's done a great job with the returner role. I mean, he's got great mechanics, and obviously he's got really good speed. So he's definitely an option at that uh, position, and we're really pleased at where he's at right now. What have you uh, seen out of day on? So far, obviously, you guys are really excited about what he could potentially bring in on special teams as a coverage guy. I mean, he, he's, he's a football player. I mean, his versatility, uh, just the value of what he has and all the positions that he can go ahead and play, his athleticism, obviously, his speed. And um, a lot of guys don't know. I mean, this guy was a you know true athlete in high school, too, in terms of playing both sides of football. So he's just we're looking for football players that are not just one position, a linebacker or running back, but a complete football player. And that's what he is. And that's what we're excited about. General improved last year. What's kind of been the message in, as far as year two, new personnel, new players out there? What have you been kind of telling the team to build on? You know, the first thing is, I mean, last year was last year. That one's done. Uh, we got to go ahead and get, you know, work back from, you know, day one. We started with our technique and fundamentals, just try and get it off the ground again and just act as if, you know, no one knows anything. We're new. Everyone's new here. Uh, but we want to really stress the technique and fundamentals, but we got to build consistency in what we do. So uh, we know that the, what the expectations are, and uh, we know what's in front of us, and I think we got the great uh, players right now on the roster and the, the depth to go ahead and get that done, and we got to make sure we go out there and we execute. Part of being a special teams coach, as you just alluded to, is just constantly sort of onboarding, as Brandon Stilley says, a lot of you know, young players, a lot of attrition. But having a guy like Josh Harris, in your, as part of your units, as sort of that rock, that veteran, what does he do when you are going through that transition process in the spring and even into this time of year? Yeah, you know, I mean, Josh is phenomenal for our group, and that's just not just special teams or specialists. I mean, he's phenomenal for our team. I mean, he's a leader. That's the big draw for us going to get him. Uh, you know, I take my hat off to, you know, Tom and uh, Ed actually going, you know, and actually pursuing him. And when they brought him on board, I mean, that he's just been a phenomenal leader for us, and that's why we – you know, we put a lot on his plate, and he sees it, uh, the big picture on the outside, too, just not with the specialists. He'll talk to these core guys and make sure we've got that, uh, you know, that bar still set up high, and we, we're still uh, on pace to go ahead and make sure we achieve that. As far as Gunner, obviously, Dean and Jasir kind of cemented their roles there last year, but we've seen a few guys working in there. Just how are you feeling about that spot? Yeah, I mean, I like the spot in terms of that, in terms of those two, but they're still improving. I mean, it's good to see them to come back and, and st you know, start where they left off. But uh, we got to create depth, you know, in all the situations, in all positions, and and that's what uh, you know, Beep Gold. He's doing a great job working with those guys, and uh, they know our expectations of what we expect out of those guys. But it doesn't stop with them. We got to, you know, 
uh, um, Webb, he's doing a great job, you know, working in there, um, uh, JT Woods, uh, you know, and some of these young guys that we're trying to continue to incorporate. Um, you know, it's just the message that we've told these guys from the get from the get go was how can you create value for yourself to impact this football team in a positive way. And I'm seeing that from this group of uh, players here, and we're excited about that. Uh, you know, I think uh, you know Tom Telesco, they and uh, head coach Daly, they they targeted the right guys, and we got the roster. So now we just got to continue to build on that and continue to have success. With it. You know, moving forward. We've seen Quentin rotate in there at, at times. Is he a real possibility at Gunner? Are you kind of moving around, seeing what you could possibly get out of him? Or? Absolutely. It doesn't matter. We talk about it doesn't matter where you're drafted in the first round or a free agent, uh, you know, non-drafted free agent. In terms of that, um, you think about Cordero Patterson when in Minnesota. We utilize him as a Gunner. That's how he got his uh, role in that. Anyone as uh, valuable, but it's just how you create your role. You know, how can you create value to go ahead and help this football team win games? Because ultimately that's what we're here to do is help this team win.